What's up, boo? Hey, boo, hey, it's your girl, Diva. I'm here once again, here to bring you the juice, the tea, and everything else it is, okay? Listen, somebody does not want you to change, okay? It could seem very innocent. It could seem very, very innocent because they want you to stay the same. They want you to be the person that you were when they met you. They want everything to be just like it was. Not understanding that baby butterflies be in a cocoon for a little while, but it's time to come out and show your beauty. It's time for you to pop out. <laughs> Y'all ready to pop out? You ready to pop out? I'm going to let you know what's going on. I'm going to give you the tea and everything. If you are interested in watching this video, please be sure to stay tuned and go ahead and like this video up, okay? Period. All right, y'all, this is the card. Listen, they, they're not wanting you to change. This person does not want you to become the person that they can see that you are. Obviously, they know that there's something bigger and better in your life. There's so many things that you have in growth, like you're about to grow massively. Okay, y'all remember when Joseph had the coat of many, co many colors and he was a dreamer, baby. He could dream them dreams and everything would come true. And he saw a dream about him and his brothers. And he was like, one day y'all gonna bow down. They gonna bow down. And so, you know, they let them know. Obviously, you may have told this person what your purpose is and what you see yourself doing and where you see yourself going. Or this person just could have seen it anyway. They could have just saw it all over you because you going, you going up like that. Okay. And so if they're knowing that, they're seeing that you're going to be changing. They think that they're never going to change. Obviously, they're not if they're paying too much attention to you. They got to pay attention to their own stuff so they can get it together for themselves. But this is what they're saying, that you are going to become the best person, the best version of yourself. And you're, they're going to have to bow down. <laughs> they don't have to bow down, baby. Do you hear me? So let's go ahead and pull some of these cards to see what's going on. Okay, let's go ahead. Remember, I am doing personals. They're only $50. You can look in the pinned comments below and hit your girl up, okay? All right, let's go ahead and dive deep into the message. Angels, guards, and guides, spirit, ancestors. Give me the messages now. Okay, fantasy. Yeah, this person is daydreaming and seeing the things that you're about to accomplish. Y'all been on the ball. Whatever you're up to, whatever you're doing, it's all coming together. And it may not, listen, it may not even feel like it. It might not feel like what you got going is really moving the way that you want it to, but you right there at the brink of it, okay? And they can see it. This person has been daydreaming and imagining and seeing the things that's going to happen. Some of you guys are, <laughs> you're walking this path alone and, and it feels so lonely, but it's definitely happening. It's taking place, okay? I want you to know that there are many secrets in the ethers, in, in the heaven heavenlies, okay? And as above, so below <laughs> on earth as it is in heaven, everything is going to come through. It may be secretive and you can't see it because a lot of things that you've been dealing with right here, you may have been in a silent mode. You may have been in isolation. It's just been like, what's going on? It almost feels like you may have been frozen or stuck for a moment, but this is, see, this, these are mysteries. See, nobody understands really the mysteries of God. And that's what's going on. It's like, but you got, there's so many blessings here. So many blessings. And like I said, you may have felt like you were in silence, like you were frozen. Like there's no words. Like, are you hearing from the most high? Because sometimes we don't hear. It gets a little quiet and we be like, okay, God, I'm going to need you to say, I need you to say something. Hel Hello? <laughs> Can you hear me now? I mean, I need you to answer these. I need you to bless me. I need you to help me, okay? A little bit, okay? Please, a whole lot, period. Not, not just a little bit, <laughs> a whole lot. But whoever this is, is obsessed, they're obsessing over your life. And I feel like they're trying to mirror you, copycat you. They want to do what you do because they know that the path that you're on is going to lead to the road to success. The the, the 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 success where the streets are paved we go okay <laughs> yeah there's definitely some obsession going on here um and god wants you to know that there's a lot of conflict around you and even though there's conflict and there's a lot of clashing and differences maybe dealing with people in your family who don't agree with what you're doing don't agree with how you're going and like i said just like with joseph you know his brothers 
threw him in the pits, okay? They, they decided to throw him in the pit, and then they decided to sell him to slavery. They literally tried to get rid of him, period. They At least, thank goodness, they didn't unalive him, but they got rid of him. They just put him to the side. Like I said, it felt like you probably was in Stalin. They may put you to the side, like trying to, you know, keep you isolated, not knowing that that's where you was growing at because you a seed. And when you a seed and people bury you, you grow, okay? Period. You grow. So there, there may have been a lot of conflict around you and God is suggesting that you do not give up. You just need to keep going. You need to keep pushing because what is conflicting you is actually growing you. Type in the comments, I'm growing. I'm growing. It's growing you. I know y'all hear the TV and stuff, but please um, just ignore that. <laughs> All right, keep. right, let's keep going. Listen, <laughs> you're at the breaking point, okay? And, and this, this may sound bad, but the breaking point, that conflict is at the breaking point of like, this is a, this is like a breakthrough. Okay. This is something that's about to just burst out. You know, God says, behold, I'm doing something new where things are springing forth. He has something new for you and everything that you've been trying to get through to is coming together. It's all coming together, even though it may not feel like it. The conflict is only an illusion to get you to stop. Okay. So don't be the fool to stop. Keep going, baby. Cause you, you, you know, you're a beast with it. So you got to keep pushing, baby. You got to keep going. Handle, handle them, them conflicts. Like you handle them fools when you was in the streets. <laughs> Period. All right, so listen, there, okay, there's a lot of hope. Spirit says keep the hope, keep going, don't lose faith, keep going, keep expecting, keep manifesting them blessings because they all come. Yes, chase your dreams, keep chasing after your dreams, keep chasing after what it is that you're trying to get to because your is there. You're at the breaking point, you're at the breakthrough. This person is definitely at their breaking point because they're at their wit's end of realizing that just because they tried to put you in the background, just because they isolated you, just because they ghosted you, now they can start to see that everything is coming together for you. You know, and now they're like, dang, maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe I should have stayed around because some of y'all are dealing with relationships, people that you were in relationships with and they're starting to not, you know, be not be pleased with how they handled you because now they can see yeah, they can, baby, they can see your worth. Mm -hmm. They didn't see it before. They see it now, though. Mm -hmm. They had a lot, this person had a lot of influences. There was a third party here. Okay, a third party who helped them. Like I told you, Joseph's brothers was like, you know, it was I think it was three brothers. And they the ones, you you know, they talking in each other. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do, let's do that. And, you know, I... I with y'all, I feel like whoever this person was that they were talking to to get them to help them to um stop you or to help you help them to overcome over accomplish over what you were doing. That that person really didn't even want to be involved, but they did it anyway. Obviously, some of you guys, this person was offered something in order to do it. They was like, "Now you know, then you know, I I'm always helping you, like blackmail. You know, I'm always doing this for you. Don't make me tell. Don't make me say nothing. Okay, it just felt it feels like somebody was bribed or blackmailed to blackmail to help stop you, but this it, it didn't it did not succeed. God, I'm tongue tied. Come on, un un unloose, loose, loose, loose the tongue, okay? All right. <laughs> but they had somebody in their ear. And, and if this was a relationship, there was a third party. There was a female or a male in this person's ear. Like, you don't even need that person. They ain't no good. You need to lead them along. Just ghost them. Don't even call them no more. And they listening to all this like, if you don't, if you don't ghost them, I'm going to go tell them. I'm going to show them the pictures. I'm going to show them the video. I'm going I'm to show them the, the, uh, the text messages. That, like that stuff like that and this person was just really pulling this person's bluff but they didn't realize that and, and <laughs> not knowing that you baby you was a divine you a divine one say divine masculine whether you're feminine a female or a male you just you divine anyway you connected like that and now this person is starting to see like i shouldn't have left i should have never done this to this person because now they're almost at the end of their own life. This person may even be sick. They may be even unable to comprehend um, the things that they're going through. Like they're going through what you went through, but they can't get through it like you. It just they can't handle. They can't. They can't handle the fire. That's what it is. Then your mom tell them. Then your mama tell you not to touch that fire because it was gonna burn you, baby. Don't do it. They just. They can't see. They can't get through it like you. It's, it's just not working that way. 
Okay, so I see you escaping the BS. Okay, you're leaving, you're avoiding, you're blocking whatever this is because they may be trying to return to you for an apology. They're going to try to apologize to you. They may try to return. This isn't somebody trying to apologize to you or, you know, give you some, let you, I'm sorry. I've been, you know, I need you to pray for, please, please pray for me. I need you to pray for me, you know, because I can't handle all this that I'm going through. You know, I, I can't deal with this. It's almost like this person is definitely going through it. They going through some things. It's some, something is going on and they know that you escaped it all. You were able to avoid the the catastrophes or even if you got through get, if you even if you were in the catastrophe you got right out because we always pop back up baby they pop popping out typing typing the comments I'm popping out I'm popping out baby you popping out like it's summer time baby hot girl summer hot boy summer <laughs> popping right back out because that see that's they're confused they're, this person is going undergoing so much confusion I think like their thoughts are, are really unclear as to why they're going through such situations. It's almost like they forgot what they did to you. They've forgotten, okay? Like I told you, we're we going to keep talking about Joseph because that's what this reading is about. Um, Joseph, you know, when, when his family needed food, they needed things from, from, you know, from the area where Joseph was, where they sold him at. When they went to them, they were on their knees begging can you please help us? Can you help us through this? We need your help. So, you know, remember, they had to come back down to him. It's like, that's what's happening with you. They having to come back to you. They may not even recognize. They going to recognize you, but they it's like, dang, it's something different about you. Because that's how it was with Joseph and his brothers. They didn't really recognize him. Joseph had a different energy about him. You know, he, he was actually helping this person, um, helping his brothers. So this person here in your energy is coming down to, please, I need your help. I need you to pray for me. I need, because I can't, you know, they can't get through it. They confused about what happened. They're really not understanding like what they did. They, It's almost like they're trying to play like they got amnesia, like they don't know what they did to you, okay? But <laughs> there's change. I'm telling you, change is coming. They may not have wanted you to change, but change has already come. So now everything is flipping up in reverse. They don't understand it. It's almost like they they may have amnesia. I don't know, child. <laughs> I don't know, child. <laughs> right. Okay. So right here, whatever this is, it's almost like this person cursed themselves by touching you. You know, it says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Anybody that tries to touch an anointed one, they come back in complete confusion. It's cur They're cursed until they decide to stop. They not they don't understand what's going on. They don't understand, honey. Becoming very clingy to you and obsessing, hoping that you will help them. Hoping that, oh my goodness, you know, because I, I like I said, they can see this person already seen what you were gonna accomplish in this life. They can already see it. They've already seen what's gonna happen with you and where you're going in your purpose in life. And it's causing them to be very hopeless. They they can see the establish the establishment and the foundation that you have, that you are found you 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 are grounded in the most high. You are founded in him. You are established by the most high. And you being rooted and grounded in them. They they understand that now they gonna have to get it's almost like they looking to you to be their savior when they need to turn to the most high. <laughs> they looking to you to be Captain Sable, and it ain't it. You ain't about to do it. You it, it ain't even meant for you to do it. Like, even if you try it, it's not going to work. Like, you can pray for this person all day. It ain't going to work. That person got to go to the Most High himself. They he, they have to go and repent and, and ask forgiveness for, from the Most High. Because when they touched you or tried to, they was trying to touch God. Okay? That's all that is. It's definitely something um, that they're going through. They're exhausted. They're depleted. And I feel like most of you guys know who this person is. Even if you don't, you will know once this reading is finished, okay? You got, it seems like you're looking at life from a different perspective. Now, everything that you've been trying to accomplish, I feel like a lot of you guys are reaching the masses. You're coming to a place where you're going to be ministering or speaking, motivational speaker, selling your products to thousands of people, millions of people. I almost said millions first, okay? Millions for most of you and thousands for some, okay? And this is definitely something that has a social media presence as well. But I feel like some, this is for some of you. It, 
where you're going is going to be in different places. You're actually going to be traveling the heights. You're going to be going places. And this person may come to see you in that area where you're going to be doing, you know, located. Either you have a pop-up shop or you have a, um, you know, you have a ministry, you're speaking somewhere, you're doing things somewhere else in another state, and this person's going to pop up where you're at, and they're going to need your help, okay? So it's definitely something about you being in, the, in another area when this person's reaching out to you. They could even call you or try to text you while you're out of town or somewhere else. There's the train. There's your confirmation because you coming through, baby. Jigga train coming through. Jigga train coming through. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> coming through baby definitely you definitely have some type of um you're birthing multiples okay because i'm getting multiples you're birthing multiples okay some some of you guys may be pregnant with twins or triplets whatever um god bless you <laughs> and some of you guys are birthing multiple things because you're definitely you have so many gifts that you're able to utilize and i see that you're going to birth these things and it's almost like the new year brings you all of that. This the, this next year is going to show you the reason why you were in isolation, why you had to wait, why everything had to be, you know, you had to be focused on those things, okay? And so now you're going to be birthing all of that, and it's going to be so beautiful, okay? There's so much grace on your life. You have so much grace. And when people try to stop what God is doing in you, he gives you more grace, more grace. You know, you go from glory to glory on in those levels that you're in. You know, you're going to, you go from glory. It's like so much glory. That's why I say you're going to even look different. You may already have that glow about you, but it's, you're going from glory to glory. So it's different. You're just changing in an abundant, beautiful way. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, guys. <laughs> This was cool. I like this one. Okay. It's, yeah, you're definitely going to be making it, honey. They may have tried to stop you and didn't want you to change, but you got to keep going. God, God, he's going to keep pushing you there. You're going to keep climbing mountains and you're going to get over all of the, the things that were trying to stop you and the people that were trying to stop you. You're going to, you're getting through it. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video. And of course, if you would like a personal with me, all you have to do is look in the description or the pinned comments. They're $50. And I also have the two for 20. You get two questions for $20 and you can do that as well. Just look in the description bar below for the information. All right. I love you guys. Y'all better remember me, honey. Bless your girl as I bless you. Share the video and like it up. Peace and blessings.